Hi guys, welcome to another video of my channel. Uh, my name is Niral Dawei and I'm going to explain you in this video how to start a manufacturing business. A uh, lot of people have the knowledge but they lack courage of starting up a business. And somehow you guys can have enough courage to start it. This video will explain you exactly what steps to follow and how you should start your manufacturing business. Uh, this PowerPoint slide, this slide I have created is basically all the basics of how to start a business, but everything I will be relating it to a manufacturing industry. So let's start and dive into the first step. Step number one is think and write down why you want to start this business. What is your idea? Why and how? you are different from your competitors. What is the current market practice and how you are different than the existing suppliers? It's as simple as that. If you have something special in your mind, lay it out in the open and see what happens. Do some test run and then we'll go from there. So write down what is your idea because you need to see, based on your idea, you will see if you have any competition. Uh, then Google it, Google it, find out who your competition is, how big is the market, do all this research and explain, think why you are different than your competition, because that's how you can survive. If you are providing the exact amount of what the other person is providing, then the only reason to come to you is either the quality or the quantity or the price. So if you're not any difference than your competitors, then why should we bother? Why should anyone come to your business? So always, how are you different than all of your competition? Find that out and make sure you know all the time dealing with your sub customers. And most important thing is how much investment you need and what are the returns you are expecting from the business. It is a very important thing. And sometimes people do some miscalculations and then they end up selling their business or they end up uh, not doing that good or having more partners in the business. So this video is for you to work all this out before you even start thinking about how to start a business. So sit down, sort this out, and then we will go to the next step, which is step two. Step two is very important and it is all about your idea. Make sure you have one single idea and remember it is your idea and it is your biggest asset than anyone else. So do your research about your idea, find out who your potential customers are uh, and just give them a call, you know? Hey, you just Google something. Hey, I'm looking for making the architectural furniture. So Google, hi, how can I find an architectural furniture? Okay, so then you will see other different other different list of the people who are supplying the same product. Call them and say, hey, I'm providing this service. Are you guys interested? I like, well, who is your current supplier? I will explain you more about how to approach a customer in the same video, but this is just an overview of, you know, how should we approach the potential customers. Then the next step is go meet the customer. Uh, I will say, just give an example. Hey, Matt, or hey, Mike, this is Nirav from XYZ Technologies. I see on your website, you have a number of products uh, giving this, this, and this. Uh, I think, and I would love to catch up with you to know more about your products. Uh, do you think uh, we can set up a time for coffee or just have a chat about your products? So that is the best way. At least that, that worked for me on how to start a completely new conversation with someone you don't know. And then you go for a coffee, you have, or you have a chat and just think about like how the business is doing, how, uh, what are the issues they are facing in the market and what is the thing they are missing that they would have it from you. So you slowly put down that point. Hey, uh, I see you guys are struggling with the lead time, but our company policy says if you are having anything more than three days delay or 24 hours delay, you will get it for free. So things like that, you give, you go into the market where no one has ever gone and that's how you go. 
that's how you grow now you know how to approach how to find the customer we'll go to step three and you everyone needs to find out the cost and returns on on their businesses so in engineering businesses uh following are the major cost but i would say this applies to general any businesses so let's list down the cost so equipments marketing lease softwares uh software such as zero uh erp softwares quoting softwares mrp softwares all those kind of softwares plus raw material and the biggest expense for any company is not the machines is salary and wages is the biggest expense in listing down after listing down the cost we'll go to the return and see how much margin we have on product or how much and we will set up the margin on the services so take your time before starting a business sit down list all the expenses how much think about how much sale you need to reach at least break even point and after that what would be the take home that you are going to get because as a business when you are starting up you are not going to get much money because all the business all the money that you're invested in mainly will go in giving the credits and investing in the future growth so this is a very important thing that you <clears throat> at least sit down and think how much it is going to cost you and how much more do you need just for your own survival so this is one of the basic steps for any businesses now let's go to step four and it is also very important that you know you do your research become an expert in your field see no one give no one will give you a service just because you are cheap just because you are providing good service just because you are better than the other people they will only give you the service because you will have an expertise in your field and you can do better than some other people so always before starting a business do some research watch some not some watch a lots of youtube video read material if you are engineering journals sheet metal fabrication companies list uh, just go read anything that is related to your industry nowadays google is really smart so if you start having researching about your industry it will start showing you the ads and it will start showing you the news related to your industry and i would say use them that's how you stay updated on the trends another good way to know is ask your customers hey mate i am doing this and this is what i'm thinking do you think it is a good thing to do or what is your views on this uh, and if you don't have the knowledge always the best option is find out who the expert is and get the knowledge from him of course uh, the consultants are quite expensive but still having a consultant and have your knowledge is always in increasing your own knowledge is always invaluable and in general just do some research so after that step number five is uh, have a proper website invest in the technologies it is always good to invest in technologies because let's say you hire one person to have your warehouse and inventory sorted but instead you will end up paying him $64,000 at least 64 or $50,000 per year to sort out the industry in the inventory and everything and storage so instead what you do you train the staff who is already working and you manage the inventory by implementing a proper ERP system proper system that can keep track of your inventory that can keep track of everything that's going on the workshop remember uh, communication is the key in any workshop in any engineering business so make sure what information is given to you from customers they go exactly the way down to the workshop guys it is very important second important thing is have a quality control in place if you have a mistake let's say you made a mistake you talk to the customer and say oh, hey we made it we made this issue we have this issue what do you want to do most of the cases customers are quite reasonable but but there are few cases where it is really hard to convince the customer or sometimes the product is such a good quality 
they cannot accept any reject or they cannot accept any tolerance on the machine it is a very important thing third have a proper coding software if you are a fabrication business have a proper coding software if you are a sheet metal business have a different software use it if you are a structural steel business there is a different software that that is in place and make sure all the softwares have a good inventory good erp control and they are all stored on the cloud so even if you're not on the computer you can come back and make sure you are doing good on the phone so these are really good videos just i have really good videos to look into for erp system on how to set up an erp uh, just check out the link in the description so you will be able to see what kind of erp system you should be using and what things to consider let's go to step six which is very important the step you are learning in this one is ask question the step six is always very important ask questions if you if you are not sure please ask in the comment section and i'm happy to answer that and if i'm not able to find an answer um i don't have the answer i will find an answer and get back to you and really thank you very much please like and subscribe it really motivates me to make more videos like this